What is going on everybody, Zionic here, and in today's video we're going to check out some awesome battles submitted here to the channel by a member of the community, Ace Trainer Paul, so shout out to them, thank you for sharing these battles with us, and as you can see, their previous legend as well, and they're also facing off against Racha Babyface1 in game one if you guys don't know who that is let me just let you know he's a very skilled battler but what we're gonna see today is how strong alolan sand slash can be with the meta of dragons fairies grass type pokemon being everywhere alolan sand slash with that ice steel typing is looking pretty strong so let me know down in the comments what you guys think about this team and these battles how is ultra league going for you and be sure to smash that like button it really helps out the channel let's go ahead and get right into it all right, excited to see this first battle. It will be very interesting to see the skill play here. So we have Swampert on the lead versus Empoleon. Could be double drag in the back, could not, but we'll have to see how this plays out. Um, as a Swampert player, you want to try to land that Earthquake, but Shield Baits as well are kind of crucial. So we'll have to see who decides to shield. He's going to go ahead and shield this first Hydro Cannon right here. Rightfully so, it's going to do a lot of damage. He doesn't want to get farmed down. Swampert's going to go ahead and just load up on a lot of energy, throw this Earthquake right here, wants to get in an even shield situation with his opponent, or one-shot the Empoleon, will we boom? We're booming, boom, one-shots the Empoleon right there, and we are going to see a Shadow Gyarados now come in, so they're going to go ahead and swap into the Alolan Muck, start getting ahead on energy, and this is Dragon Breath as well, um, so Dark Pulse now coming through, it's going to do a lot of neutral damage, I imagine we'll see a shield here from the Gyarados, which we do, this Gyarados is now going to swap out into a Swampert. So Alolan Sandslash looking pretty strong to close out, especially since that is a Dragon Breath, right? That Steel Typing is going to be resisting it. Um, but another Dark Pulse coming through chunks the health right there of Swampert. And this is why Alolan Muck can be so deadly as a safe swap. You can put a lot of pressure. You don't necessarily have to shield um, and just do a lot of damage. Hydro Can is not enough to take out the Alolan Muck and is going to be able to get to another one. No, Swampert decides to throw the energy right away. If that Mutt got the Dark Pulse off, that would have gotten the final shield. But they're probably going to go ahead and actually, we'll see what they decide to bring in right here. They do have a lot of loaded energy on Swampert. Yeah, they decide to bring in the Swampert right here. Going to go ahead and over farm a bit, throw this Hydro Cannon. This is going to do enough damage to take out the opponent Swampert. Or we will see a shield. Yeah, it takes it out. And we will see the Gyarados now come in. Going to go ahead. Oh, man, not able to get to the Hydro Cannon in time. It's going to go ahead and let the charge move go through. It is going to be the Aqua Tail, which is enough to take it out. So now it's going to be a Lolan Sand Slash here versus the Gyarados. And as we can see, this is not looking too good for Gyarados. That Steel Typing is just so clutch in this meta, especially, like I said, with all the fairies and all the dragons out there steel and ice looking really really strong gonna be able to get to two ice punches right here and that is gonna be a good game the Shadow Gyarados does not have enough damage with Aqua Tail to one-shot the Alolan Sand Slash. All they need to do is build up to two Ice Punches because it will do neutral damage, right? Water resists Ice, Flying takes super effective, so it'll do neutral damage, and they're going to go ahead and let that one go through, and that is going to be a good game. There's nothing the Gyarados could have done there if they did shield. It would have gone down to another Ice Punch. So, good first game right there. All right, moving into this next battle, we have Swampert versus Gallade. Ooh, tough one, right? Gallade without Leaf Blade can one-shot a Swampert, so we'll have to see how they decide to play this. And are they going to try to swap on the charge move? Yes, they are, but the Gallade smartly held it, and this is probably going to be a close combat now coming through. Will we see a shield here from the Alolan Muck? We do see a shield. It was the close combat. That is a good shield right there. And now we're going to go ahead and see a Swampert now come in. What's great about Alolan Muck here against that Swampert um, is Hydro Cannon cannot one-shot. So the Swampert has to throw all of its energy with that Earthquake in order to take it out. Meanwhile, um, uh, Alolan Muck right here is just going to be spamming those Dark Pulses. So I don't think this was enough energy. For Earthquake, yeah, it's definitely not. It's just going to be another Hydro Cannon, which means they can get to another Dark Pulse and put massive pressure to get a shield back from this Swampert. We'll have to see how this plays out. Dark Pulse now comes through, gets the shield right there, rightfully so. The Swampert is going to over farm, um, which is a good call. One more fast move away from another Dark Pulse, but this Hydro Cannon will be taking out the Alolan Muck. Now, we'll have to see what they decide to come back in with. They could come back in with their own Swampert. Remember, they have loaded energy right here. They bailed out, so we'll have to see how this plays out. They're going to go ahead and come in. Another Hydro Cannon coming through. They're going to let it go. They don't know what's in the back, and Alolan Sand Slash might be able to handle it, so let's see how this plays out. Swampert now going to load up on some energy and throw a Hydro Cannon right here just before the opponent gets to their Hydro Cannon. This is going to be taking out the Swampert or get the final shield takes out the Swampert and we'll probably see the Gallade come back in looking to farm down which we do they're gonna go ahead and go for the Earthquake right here massive damage wants to force that final shield away from the opponent otherwise this might one shot does it yes oh boom nearly one shots and there is an Electrode in the back so they're gonna go ahead and bring in the Alolan Sand Slash right here 
what's tough with electro or not electro <laughs> what am i saying it's a magnezone i don't know why i said electro you guys will let me know down in the comments already some of you are already down there um bulldoze can one shot right here right steel electric typing so it's all going to be about being able to land it wild charge out no it's another mirror shot that is a huge call right there to not shield the attack did fall though but they're going to go ahead and just go for the bulldoze if this lands this i imagine this will one shot even with the attack drop Bulldoze coming through. Nope. Gets this shield. Can they get to another one in time? Charger now coming through. They're going to go ahead and shield. We'll have to see if this is going to be a wild charge. No, it's going to be another mirror shot. Are they going to sack swap? No. Able to get to the bulldoze in time. I imagine this is going to do enough damage. We'll boom again right here on this electrode. Yep. Takes it out. Boom. Takes out the magnet zone right there. And that is going to be a good battle. Very well played. That powder snow fast move is incredible at gaining energy with that, um... Um, able to get to the bulldoze. So now we see another Empoleon here on the lead. Might be a double dragon as well. <laughs> Thanks, Daniel, for the update. Seeing a lot of XLs. It's very annoying. Yes, it is very annoying. So, <laughs> charge him now coming through. He's going to go ahead and play this the same as he did in game one here. Shield that first Hydro Cannon. Probably look to go for the Earthquake. But we do see a swap into Dragonite. Ooh, Alolan Sand Slash is going to eat this Dragonite up left, right, and center. Going to be able to probably hard commit to a farm down right here because Dragon Claw is not going to do too much damage. This thing can load up. Oh my gosh, it can load up on so much energy. And Bulldoze, again, is going to do super effective damage to Empoleon as well if they decide to bring that back in. So this uh, Dragon Claw coming through is not going to be enough to take out the Alolan Sand Slash. And they're going to go ahead and farm down. He has two Bulldozes ready to go. What is going to come in? Is it going to be Kingdra? It's going to be the Empoleon, so here comes the first Bulldoze right here. This, I imagine, will get a shield, and hopefully he has enough health to get to the second one because I think he's one fast move away. No, three fast moves away. Ooh, able to get to the second one in time. This is probably going to be getting the second shield, but Empoleon may just let it go through. Let's see what happens. No, it lands for a lot of damage right there, but Empoleon was able to farm down. Swampert still has a lot of loaded energy right here, so they're going to go ahead and just go for double Hydro Cannon. Even though it is resisted um, by the Empoleon, it's going to do enough resisted damage to take it out, so it does go down. Final Pokemon is going to be the Kingdra right here, so it is the Empoleon double Dragon line, and the Earthquake now coming through is probably going to force a shield here from Kingdra otherwise it's going to do a lot of damage gets the final shield and they're going to go ahead and stay in this and force the Kingdra to throw its energy can they get to another earthquake in time they're going to go ahead and let the charge move come through it's probably just going to be an Octazuka which it is which is enough to take it out but a Lolan Muck right here should be able to come in and close this game out I think maybe a Dark Pulse yeah one Dark Pulse or two Dark Pulses should be enough um, to win this game right here and they can safely shield the potential um, outrage coming from the Kingdra and that is going to be a good game. So the Empoleon Double Dragon team facing the Alolan Sand Slash, which hard walls that Dragonite right there. Octazuka safely shielded right there. And hopefully he can get to another Dark Pulse in time. Oh, the attack dropped. He's going to go ahead and go for the Sludge Wave just to guarantee because Dark Pulse may not be enough. But I think the Sludge Wave will be sit still um, stab, same type attack bonus, but does more damage than Dark Pulse. And that is going to be a good battle. Very well played. We have Swampert on the lead versus Shadow Machamp. Oof. Let's see how he decides to play this. He's going to go ahead and stay in with the Swampert right here. Probably look to get himself shield advantage. Oh my, says Q New 35 Oh my indeed, that is a Shadow Machamp. Going to go ahead and shield the Cross Chop right there. It's going to do a lot of neutral damage, and they decided to swap out into Gallade. This is where Alolan Muck can come in and do really well. That was also not four confusions. That was three. So this is just going to be a leaf blade, um, which is not going to do enough damage. It is resisted, um, but they're going to be able to go for dark pulse right here for neutral damage, able to get to do two dark pulses as well. Another charge move coming through. They're going to go ahead and let this leaf blade go as well. They have to save that final shield for the Alolan Sand Slash or the Swampert to close end game, but double dark pulse right here is going to put a lot of pressure on this Gallade to shield. Will we see it? No shield on the first one. Going to go ahead and over farm just a bit and throw this next one just before it gets to the next Leaf Blade right here. They want to have enough energy to hopefully get a charge move off against the Shadow Machamp that is likely going to be coming in because Gallade is probably going to go down um, right here, not Shield. But we'll have to see what the opponent decides to do. Yeah, Gallade does go down. Machamp is going to come back in. They're going to go ahead and go for this Dark Pulse right here. It's going to do resisted damage, but still a lot, and the opponent has to respect that. So let's see if he gets the shield. It does get the shield right there, and Machamp's going to be able to farm down. Now, Swampert has a lot of loaded energy. I think it's well ahead on energy compared to Machamp in terms of charge moves. So we'll probably see a Hydro Cannon right away, but we'll have to see if they decide to catch it. No. Cross Chop now coming through. Going to go ahead and shield. They're going to rely on this Swampert to try to sweep for them. 
Cross Chop is blocked, and let's see what happens right here. The Shadow Machamp bails perfectly into Gengar, but hey, Hydro Cannon is still going to do a lot of damage to a Gengar, and we'll probably see a swap into the Alolan Sand Slash right here. Now, this Gengar, if it's rocking, Shadow Ball is going to do a lot of damage. Oh man, is it going to one-shot? If it has Sludge Bomb, Shadow Claw, this may be trouble. It is going to be a Shadow Ball that nearly one-shots the Alolan Sand Slash, but able to get to the Bulldoze in time. This is going to do super effective damage because of that Poison Typing there on the Gengar. Boom! Takes out Gengar. Shadow Machamp does come in and farm down, but Swampert is going to be able to get to the Earthquake in time. No! Has a cross chop again. This Machamp farming down these Pokemon for energy is crazy. Swampert able to survive right there and able to get to the Earthquake with one HP in a dream. But I, this is going to be, it's got to be enough to take out the Shadow Machamp. It is good game right there. Very, very close one. All right, so we have Gavantula on the lead. This is very positive right here. Still has to watch out for Lunge. It's going to do a lot of neutral damage um, and uh, apply a debuff for lowering the attack right here. So no shield coming up. Yeah, no shield coming up. The Lunge does a decent amount and it's just going to overload on energy and go ahead and throw these Hydro Cannons. Even though the attack was dropped, these Hydro Cannons are still going to do a lot of damage against the Gavantula. And we do see the first shield go right there. Going to build up to that Earthquake. Can they get to it in time? They're going to go ahead and swap into the Alolan Muck to soak the Lunge right Right here um yeah no shield coming through they're gonna go ahead and let that go but a lot of energy and we do see oh no a toxicroak coming in toxicroak's a pretty hard wall to a lonely muck because of the poison fighting typing it's gonna resist both sludge wave and dark pulse while mud bomb does super effective damage so hopefully the sludge wave does a decent amount of neutral uh, resisted damage to chunk it that way hydro cannon could potentially one shot yeah that's still a decent amount of damage right there but toxicroak able to farm down swampert does have shield advantage right here and they actually drew out the the potential hardest counter to the Alolan Sand Slash, unless there's a Talon Flame in the back. But they're going to go ahead and build up some energy and throw the Hydro Cannon right here. I don't think this is going to be enough damage to take out the Toxicroak, but let's see how this plays out. Gets the final shield there. I'm going to go ahead and throw the next Hydro Cannon. This is going to do a lot of neutral damage, but will it one shot? No, barely doesn't take it out, but Mud Shots. Oof. Yeah, he's going to go ahead and give up a shield right here. Swampert does have a lot of energy. There's still Gavantula to worry about, and we'll have to see what the final Pokemon is going to be. Final Pokemon is going to be an Umbreon, an XL Umbreon best buddy as well, which is unfortunate. Going to go ahead and swap into a Lolan Sand Slash on the charge move. Save all of that energy on the Swampert because remember, there is still a Gavantula to deal with. So this game is not over, but let's see what a Lolan Sand Slash can do here against an XL best buddy Umbreon right now. Charge move now coming through. It's going to be that foul play. Does a decent amount of neutral damage and just going to load up on energy, waiting for the opponent to potentially swap a no swap is coming through so they're just going to keep going for ice punches right here in this matchup with bulldoze and ice punch both doing neutral damage you want to be throwing these ice punches because it's going to do stab same type attack bonus and you can spam them you want to chip as much health as you can but this game is going to come down to the wire right here and it's going to come down to all the energy that is on the swampert another foul play coming through will they give up a shield yeah they're going to go ahead and shield this next foul play but this is going to be very very close oh man able to get to another ice punch in time this Umbreon can survive, but at some point, Gavantula needs to come in and start loading up on energy. Let's see what happens, though. The Umbreon is going to go ahead and throw its final foul play, and I imagine this is where we see the Swampert swap right away. Let's see what happens. Sand Slash is low. Here comes the Swampert going for the Hydro Cannon right here. This is going to do enough neutral damage to take out the Umbreon. Gavantula as well as Unshielded with no energy. Let's see if they can get to the Earthquake in time. Yes, they can. Is this going to do enough damage to one-shot the Gavantula? I will boom this thing. Here we go. Boom! Takes out the Gavantula, and that is going to be a good battle. Very well played. Very solid games right there. Absolutely high skill level play. Great showcase of a Lolan Sand Slash and went 5-0 in that set right there, which is awesome. Able to get, what did they get as the reward as well? Oh, able to get to Thunderous as well. That is awesome to see. And able to climb up to 2479. So shout out to Ace Trainer Paul. Thank you for sharing these battles with us. Great showcase of this team. Very strong battles. Great use of energy management with that Swampert as well. Really solid gameplay. So let me know what you guys thought about this team and these battles. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. So like always, thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.